Well, we seem to be kind of going in a circle here. Uh, sometimes, you know, private interest is actually has a good public good. Uh, and I, every client I represented, I would have represented when I was in the legislature, and did, especially rural schools. I fought for Perrin almost to the death to try to keep Perrin alive, and I'm committed to doing that still. Um, so if, if you want to vote against me, because I was one time a penny any little tiny registered lobbyist representing legal clients who came in and needed help, I, I may not even have to register as a lobbyist because I was so did so little of it and quite frankly wasn't very good at it. Um, but I but I was trying to be above board and do what I was right, so I registered. And if you want to vote against me for that, then you made your point, Dan, so we can move on. But I think there's a lot more at stake than that. Uh, I think we want somebody who is not just good on fiscal issues, but is also good on social issues. Don Creekmore sponsored, she didn't just co-sponsor, we're doing an interim study which has no meaning at all. Uh, it's what I did as well, and it's just a study. There's no vote, there's no action taken. Uh, but Don Creekmore sponsored partial birth abortion. She's very good on crime. I think we want a candidate who can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with her on that. If we start losing conservative Democrats because she's better than on social issues than our Republican nominee, then we could lose this race. On crime particularly, I received a Little Rock Fraternal Order of the Police endorsement today, um, and in large part, it was because Mr. Greenberg sponsored a bill that would have allowed, well, we required before a, a confession could be admitted as evidence, there would have to be independent, substantial, independent verification, a third party. I want to tell you, how many of y'all remember Susan Smith? She's the lady in South Carolina who drowned her children. She claimed that a black man had abducted her kids at this particular intersection. The police thought she was lying, so they set up a little sting. They went out and they put cameras up on the, at that intersection, and they took her out there and they said, Susan, we know you're lying. We've got cameras up here because people have been running stop signs, and there's no abduction that happened on that night. She broke down and confessed that she had drowned her kids. She had killed them. Then she went back and recanted when she got to her lawyer. They went to trial and got a conviction on her confession and her confession alone. Now, if Mr. Greenberg's bill had passed, that would have been tossed out because there was not substantial independent verification. And the police were rightfully offended that somebody would say, we don't trust you, Mr. Police Officer. You taking an oath to swear the truth and the whole truth and nothing but the truth so help you God isn't enough. Any other witness it is, but for a police who hears a confession, we've got to have substantial independent verification. They were offended, and they should be. I believe every criminal needs Fourth and Fifth Amendment, or suspected criminal should have Fourth and Fifth Amendment rights, and those should be protected. But when we start giving them more rights than the Constitution, that's a different view of criminal than I have. I'm a prosecutor, and I say they deserve every right the Constitution guarantees them, but not one right on top of it. And so I think when you have Don Creekmore, who we all know her record on crime, she's passed Foster, sponsored and passed a lot of legislation dealing with crime and protecting victims. Uh, I think we need a candidate who can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with her and fight on these social issues that may end up being the determining factor in the general election. 